so guys next we will try to understand the recommended mask value to be used for p2p links so it is a very common scenario in networking that two devices say l3 routers are connected using point to point links so it is actually a very common scenario or a very common deployment that the two machines which could be l3 routers are connected via point to point link so point to point links are those links which have only two end interfaces and there is no scope or there is no room to connect the third device to this link right so that is why they are called point to point link because they have only two points to which the devices can be connected so now you can see that in this deployment there are two routers router 1 and router 2 right so the subnet id or the subnet of this point to point link is 11.1.1.0/24 right now note that the mask value is 24 so going forward the two interfaces of the two routers have the same network id and what is that network id the network id is 11.1.1.0/24 therefore the two interfaces of the two routers are in the same subnet why they are in the same subnet because if you apply the mask value on the ip address on both the interfaces of the two routers you will get the same network id so this is the criteria to decide whether the two interfaces are in the same subnet or different subnet so we have already discussed regarding this so point to point ends are always in the same subnet so if you configure an ip address here such that it evaluates the network id say id1 and if you configure an ip address on this side of the interface such that the network id evaluated is id2 and if id1 is not equal to id2 then this configuration will be invalid the IP address that are assigned to the two ends of a point-to-point -point links should always evaluate to same network ID. Right? So point-to-point -point link is actually a straight wire which connects the two ends. So there is no room to connect the third device to the subnet. Right? So this looks very obvious. Now in our example You can see that the mask value being used is 24. So now you already know how to calculate the maximum number of machines that could be present in this subnet. The mask value 24 allows you to connect 254 machines to the subnet. Right? So theoretically you can connect 254 machines to this subnet. But practically, since it's a point-to-point -point link which allows you to connect only two devices, so practically you can connect only two devices, but theoretically the subnet or the mask value allows you to connect 254 devices. So why use slash 24 as a mask? We should use the mask value which strictly allows only two devices to be present in the same subnet in case the link being used is a point to point link so such a mask value is 30 thus in case of point to point links while assigning an ip address to the ends of the link mask value 30 is usually used though using a mask value say slash 24 is also a valid configuration for a point to point link but it is usually a recommendation to use a mask value of 30 while assigning an IP addresses to the end of a point to point links. So you can use the mask value slash 30 on both the sides of the point to point link while assigning an IP addresses. Right? So it is just a good practice to use slash 30 as a mask value for point to point subnets. Now let us try to understand the point that why the mask value of 30 
strictly allows only two devices to be present in the subnet. So you can see that if you use the mask value 30, you have only two control bits. And using two control bits, the you can form only four different permutation of two bits, which is 00, 01, 10 and 11. The 00 corresponds to network ID and 11 corresponds to broadcast ID. Right? So there are only two combination of control bits which are left to be used by assignable IP addresses. So you can see that if the mask value is 30, then only two IP addresses could be possible to be assigned to two different devices on a point to point link. The two possible IP addresses are 11.1.1.1 and 11.1.1.2 right so hence only two interfaces can be present in the subnet and you have one network id and one broadcast address note that the broadcast address now is 11.1.1.3 slash 30 so why you are getting three here because the two control bits are one and one here and one one corresponds to three Right, so the broadcast address will become 11.1.1.3 slash 30. So I hope I am able to make the point clear that using the mask value 30 will strictly allow you to use only two IP addresses to be assigned to the two ends of the link and you will have one network ID and one broadcast ID or broadcast address as usual. Right?